the gothic sense of Ricardo. We're trying to make them a little bit rock, but we're trying to make them like super cool. And it's like he's an amazing designer that he has a, a completely open mind. The House of Givenchy has been something of a revolving door for a string of hot young designers, but I think that door might finally have stabilized with the arrival of the latest recruit, Ricardo Tishi. Ricky Tishi. <laughs> Ricky Tishi. I love him, you know, he's gorgeous. <laughs> Sometimes he's been involved in couture, but you realize he's too young to be involved in couture. But there's something about all his cuts and the way he puts clothes together, it really refines. And on the other hand, he has a little bit of savage rock and roll, which I guess comes from the days when he once upon a time lived in London and worked at St. Martin's as a student. I think this was a really a, a good step in the right direction for, for him and for Givenchy. Do you think he took very much from the house, the, the history of the house there? I think he's always somehow or another influenced by the house, but he's got his own imprint. I mean, he's definitely bringing something fresh. He's definitely a little bit monumental, there's no doubt about that. I did feel like the definitive statement on the male-female story that's been going on this season. Yeah, there was a sort of the pink kind of more frilly outfit, but mixed in were mostly those kind of tougher, kind of stronger looks. I think it's actually less monumental than his previous collections. It feels for me much more wearable. And you take them off the supermodel, you take off the accessories, and you have like a beautiful jacket, a beautiful dress, a beautiful blouse, and a beautiful pair of pants from Givenchy that will be in your closet forever. I've been calling it monumentalism. The architecture of those clothes feels very Italian. I was very sure what I was doing. You know, I don't know if it's going to be successful or not, but like, you know, I really want to have this woman from the first moment. I really want this design cartoon elegant woman. Obviously, the standout item in the collection is these high-waisted, very, very flared trousers. Completely. It was all about trousers. Amazing. In the showroom, everything is very well merchandised. So you have the fashion part, but there'll be plenty of nice trousers that aren't high-waisted. Now, that felt very you, that collection. Completely. I want to order everything. Well, I want the boots right now. <laughs> yeah, just look at it like, okay, I want that jacket, I want that coat. Um, I thought it was the best collection this week. I think what stands out for me is how confident that collection was, that how, how, how confident you felt making those statements. What, what changed from last season to this season? I'm grab and I'm happy. And I think, you know, fashion is a, is a job that, luckily, we can express our emotion. Ricardo Tichy is turning into one of Paris's great romantics, but his romance is a very dark one. And his challenge is to marry that to the froth and femininity of the Givenchy legacy. There are so many designers where you can see everybody else's ideas in them. He really stands out, this guy. I think he definitely is... Uh, He's, a way, he's ahead of the pack.